Hello there, I am the Weirded Beardo, and today we are back with our airport CEO playthrough. So picking up here, uh, what have we done so far? Uh, we've got our car drop-off area, our bus area. Up here we have started building our terminal. Uh, we have our security checkpoint, and that's the last thing we did uh, last time we were playing. So, uh, there have been a lot of updates. I mean, probably, goodness, at least six or seven updates uh, since the last time I played, which was about three days ago. So, it's going to be kind of, you know, hit and miss because I'm hoping that they didn't change anything that's uh, going to break our save, basically. But everything loaded up okay. So uh, we'll go ahead and see what we can do next. And kind of roll with the punches. And if I have to start a new one, I'll start a new one. So here we go. Uh, first thing I want to do, uh, we still have a lot of uh, things to build. We still have to build our runway. We have to build the taxiways. Uh, we have to build the gates and uh, the areas for the people to sit in. Uh, and uh, wait for their flights. I'm going to go ahead and get those started here. Uh, so we'll just kind of, yeah, we'll divide everything by a wall. We'll go that way and this way. So they'll come in, they'll get their information if they need it, they'll come over here, get their ticket, go through security, and then I can put my terminals along here. Uh, with the gates for actual boarding uh, out there so and that way as we expand we can expand this way and then up even if we need to and I can put the runway way out here in the boonies and everything should work fine okay uh, first thing we've got we've got that going so next thing I want to do is go ahead and get the, and I'll start time here so the construction workers will actually do something. And uh, the next thing I want to do is go ahead and start on some offices. So let's see, we'll do that. And. And four to start out with should be okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and put some doors in. And we will need to mark it as an area for staff. Done. And then items. Uh, we are going to need an office. kind of rotate him around okay that got that I don't really need any of this bathrooms are next so we need a bathroom in a secured area and in a non-secured area uh, next thing let's go ahead we'll open this up here And then prepare to build some walls. So I think I shall put a bathroom here on this side and then a bathroom here as well. Uh, that way, you know, both secured and non secured areas can go to the restroom. And uh, probably going to, I've noticed that there is no men's room, women's room, any of that. It's all kind of unisex. So I can make a couple small ones. Uh, you know, throw a urinal in it, a toilet, and a sink. And just do that a couple of times. Uh, and uh, on each side. And everybody should be able to do their business as they see fit. 
So, uh, let's go ahead, we'll start with the walls. Actually, I want to put in and place the, like, one prototype first, just to see how I want everything to go. So we can put in a toilet, must be placed inside a bathroom. No crap. So if we go for like a 3x3, three three and toilet, and sink, a urinal for the dudes, and then go with a door, uh, that's going to be an uh, structures, yeah. Go with a door there, one wall. That should work just fine. So I'll duplicate that one more time and then uh, go for the other side as well. Bathrooms. And then basically just duplicate it. Um, I may flop, foot flop it. And sink. Over here. And then urinals next to the turlets. And done. Uh, and I wish there was a copy paste where I could just copy this and stick it over here. Uh, unfortunately, there is not. So we'll just have to deal uh, with it uh, here in a minute. And I will probably skip forward uh, to uh, after I've done that because it's boring, I'm sure. Uh, so I'll be right back. Okay, so now we have our second bathroom all built up and uh, shouldn't need to worry about those for a while now. Uh, so next thing I need to do uh, would probably be, I would imagine to go ahead and start putting the stands in as they call them. Um, we're going to go for some small stands, I think. Uh, Eh, yeah, we'll go with small aircraft to begin with, just because uh, it's going to be something of a pain to uh, extend out just yet. We've uh, still only got $1.8 million, so uh, we don't want to uh, go too crazy there. Uh, I'll start with just one. Just one for now because we still have a runway to build, uh, which we will put way out in the boonies. No, I don't know. Should we put it in the boonies? Should we put it more central? That way we can actually build the airport around it. It's kind of an interesting, uh, interesting concept there. I don't want it to be too terribly far away uh, from the terminal itself uh, just because taxiway time and all that I will go ahead and put it there and it's only a small runway so no big deal uh, and then we need taxiway foundations now I built that out of oh goodness uh, the small runway Runway is built out of asphalt, I believe, so our taxiways will also be asphalt. And uh, let's go ahead and go with... Actually, I will put it here. And we'll go about... Uh, we'll go three wide. That's fine. Uh, 
That's three. Okay. And then for here, we'll go three wide. There's the taxiway one. I'll put another one going to this end here. Done. Okay, so the construction workers will start working on that ASAP. Uh, we've got our small stand. And I will go ahead and put in the door for that. Now it's just a... Uh, I would think it would only need a medium door um, because there is no jetway to actually you know attach to the aircraft and have people walk across so uh, they actually have to go out and then climb up a, st a giant staircase and get into the aircraft that way. Uh, let's see, uh, we'll, we'll need a ATC, and I will go ahead and place him, we'll go ahead and put him over here, or at the end, maybe we should put him at the end of the, eh. I'm just trying to find some place aesthetically pleasing, it's not a real huge deal here. Uh, we'll do it there. That's fine. Uh, what else do we need? Now we will need... Uh, I do want the weather station because it will give us uh, weather current weather updates. And uh, kind of stick him right there next to the ATC tower. Uh, this is all set and good. Uh, go ahead and put the rest of the uh, infrastructure stuff in here now this is where you choose where you want the aircraft to follow so we're gonna have to run it uh, we can't run it just yet because they haven't actually built the all that good stuff yet so uh, what else do we need I'm just trying to think of I'm trying to plan ahead a little bit uh, but uh, without you know messing anything up uh, that we are going to need hmm now here's the airport checkpoint this is how the fuel trucks come in uh, to uh, actually replenish the fuel and I do not want to block myself off from the ability to build more gates Huh. Interesting. So I could always build a second terminal. Uh, just, you know, basically a carbon copy of this one or something different. Uh, just a secondary building where they could go to. So uh, we will go ahead. I will put the checkpoint here. Mm. Okay. We want road. This needs to be all road. And then this side is the uh, service road. Here we go. All right, and the service road actually, I believe, can connect up there. And they can actually drive across here, I believe. Um, not exactly sure haven't seen it done uh, but that uh, that doesn't mean it's not possible now for fuel the checkpoints here I'll go ahead and put the fuel there when we get it uh, it is something that has to be unlocked we'll go ahead and get our terminal set up uh, or our gate set up here uh, let's go ahead and turn them sideways kinda just evenly well, can't place it there. Uh, let's go for... Take 
you what, we'll just put one there and there. Trash cans on each side because people are indeed messy here. Uh, they will leave things just laying on the floor uh, willy-nilly. They do not care. Uh, so we'll do that and then we are going to need the boarding desk uh, which is where you actually you know turn in your ticket and whatnot. I uh, have to mark everything as secure through here. What do we want to do next? Um, oh, I, well, I do need that, uh, the boarding desk. And we'll place him uh, right here. And it's going to have cues, but I can't do anything with that yet because it is not built. Let's see here. All right, looks like we've actually done just about everything we can. Oh, security exit. Almost forgot. This is where uh, the people who are leaving the airport who have landed or what have you uh, this is where they uh, actually vacate the airport so uh, must be placed inside a secure zone so we can place it there don't really like the way that's gonna sit so what I shall do is take out this wall here and take out that section of wall there as well and that way I will be able to fit it in just right. As soon as the construction workers get to it. Uh, how many construction workers do we have working right now? Uh, operations, construction. We have 20 working right now. I'll go ahead and bump that up another 10. And uh, get that going. Now staff, I still need the board um, everything is vacant for that uh, don't want to deal with it just yet honestly um, still trying to get you know infrastructure set up there's our service road being put in There's our taxiway, which cannot work just yet, because or our gate, uh, which can't work because the taxiway is still being built, as is the runway. Uh, we will go ahead and speed up time a little bit here. They've got our chairs in, our boarding desk. Let's go ahead and connect it to the stand here. Once that's uh, connected, we should be able to then also uh, put in the queue lines uh, for it as well. 
All right, so that's all coming along. Uh, we've got our bathrooms. I need to get that security exit put in right there. And I probably should do one on this side as well if I'm going to put in a uh, another gate here or another stand here. Uh, so I can probably just go ahead and do that just for sake of saving myself some time. And that's going to fit, right? Uh, yep. Should be no problemo. Okay. So the, there's our security. There's one of our employees. All good. And there is my lazy self. Just kind of kicking back, chilling out. Doesn't have a damn thing to do other than to look at people and point at things. Uh, which is what everybody should aspire to do. Uh, not really, because I would go insane if that were my entire purpose on the planet. I'll go ahead and put some plants in here, kind of spruce up our entrance. I uh, don't want it to look too weird. All right, our tarmac, our service road, our checkpoint are all put in. Uh, well, the the tarmac and, and the service road is put in, the actual taxiway is not, and the runway also is not, uh, but, uh, you know, give it time, give it time. I do wish I had put this in as uh, asphalt, and of course now it's not going to let me because it's already been built. Yeah. Uh, it's just for aesthetic reasons, it, it kind of drives me a little nuts, uh, but that's okay. Uh, it'll at least uh, let us know where planes can't go. Um, not that we needed that kind of information, but uh, there we go. I can almost put in the uh, navigational points or what is it? the taxiway nodes. There we go. Uh, almost can put those in. So see, they come off of here, they go there. And they go from there to there, and there to there. So it's basically just drawing the yellow lines for the taxiway. And those are in. Okay, so now uh, there are upgrades that you can do. Uh, if I wanted to revert this down to grass, it would cost 20 grand. If I wanted to make it concrete, it would be 20 grand. You can set the pushback point, and that is how far back the plane will back up uh, before it uh, starts off on the taxiway. Uh, right now, not a big issue because there's not a line of gates here. Uh, if there were a line of gates, you would want them to pull back farther uh, so as not to hit uh, the nearby other aircraft. I, would, I believe that's why. Uh, so uh, that kind of makes sense to me. I can dig it. Uh, my stepdad, uh, who uh, has played the role of my dad, or at least tried to, uh, since I was about eight years old, is actually a flight instructor uh, for private 
private pilot and is a member member of the Civil Air Patrol, uh, which is a, an organization that uh, goes and um, you know pre performs search and rescue operations. If uh, if, a if a plane goes down here in the U.S., uh, they uh, will go out try to find it. Uh, they also, I believe, spot fires and uh, look for like lost people in the woods, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, so he's actually a, I believe he's a major in that. Uh, he's been in it for many, many years. Uh, he flies, uh, he has a, a plane, I believe it's a Lusco. It's a very old aircraft. Uh, Post-World War II, I think they came out sometime around Korea, uh, something like that. I'm sure somebody that knows more than I do will know better uh, than that. But uh, it is a, it's an interesting plane. I've flown in it a few times. Uh, he hasn't killed me yet. He's, he's actually, I trust him to fly my, I trust him to fly my airplane a lot more than I do uh, for him to drive me anywhere that's for sure uh, the man turns his car into an airplane and will break the sound barrier if the uh, Texas state troopers allow him to uh, which they've they've caught him many many occasions uh, man's just in a hurry I can I can dig it I get it I don't approve of it but I get it uh, anyway, that's my rant on my stepdad. Uh, he's actually a pretty good guy, so no worries. Uh, let's see here. So everything seems to be going well here. Um, we will only... So, you, okay, here's this part. You have commercial aviation, which are your normal go to the airport, get a, buy a ticket, get on a plane kind of things. And then we have general aviation. Um, so general aviation is your private pilots, uh, your uh, people who fly for fun, that kind of thing. Uh, you can also have them come in, and you can set your t stands. They call them stands. I'm just going to call them tarmacs. Uh, you can well tarmacs where you would park something. So that's uh, it's kind of the same, but not. Um, so you can set the stands to uh, only accept general, only accept commercial, or to be able to accept both. They will pay you, uh, the general aviation, they will pay you for fuel and maintenance. Uh, and uh, the only downside is it's taking up a slot uh, in your airport. So if you want to build, uh, like I could build a little thing off to the side that's all general aviation, and just have people pull in out there okay so and up here in the flight schedule you'll notice this is our commercial and this is our general aviation and you can you will get an alert every now and again if there's a general aviation flight that wants to land uh, you can accept reject and I believe there's an option to actually set it to come you know for them to auto accept uh, so that's always a good thing as well. So we've gotten a little bit done today. Uh, we are still putting in our runway, uh, which actually the runway is there. I do want to upgrade it to asphalt though. And uh, we will also build the PAPI lights, uh, which uh, assist for uh, the... Um, I believe that's night flying uh, and they sit I believe it's night flying or instrument landing I can't remember I'm I'm not a pilot my stepdad does. you know he knows all that but I, I don't uh, there we go put them on either end of the runway I believe they sit on both sides I'm probably wrong but you know what it looks better I'm, I'm into symmetry uh, didn't used to be my wife actually is very 
has her very OCD moments, and so I just kind of got it from her. I blame her. She, it's her fault. Um, so we've got our taxiway built, our runway is built, our first gate is here, and in the first thing next episode, uh, we will go ahead and start looking for some flight contracts and start getting those in as well as start working on the upgrades uh, to the airport such as fuel, uh, all that kind of good stuff. And uh, we'll actually open her up and get some, uh, some passengers going through here. So until next time, y'all take care. Bye-bye.